We begin with the story making a lot of people angry tonight. Angry that a notorious thief who was just convicted of robbing 54 Inland Empire businesses walked out of court today a free man. Yeah, he's called the snake burglar. And as KCAL News reporter Nicole Comstock shows you tonight, many blame a California law that they say is too soft on criminals. This isn't the first time this guy's been in jail. He recently served some time for burglarizing dozens of other local businesses. And some of the business owners we spoke with say they think he'll continue to get away with this because that's what the system allows. Is the sentence being handed down today severe and significant enough to deter him and or other criminals from doing it again? Brian Perone shares the victim impact statement he read in court today for the sentencing hearing of Riverside County's infamous snake burglar. Christopher Michael Jackson smirked and shook his head while entering guilty pleas to 54 felony burglaries, where he was often caught on camera slithering across the floor to sneak by motion sensors. He was sentenced to seven months in jail, but got credit for time served. He's scheduled to be back out on the street the same night, although he was ordered to wear a GPS ankle monitor for the next 12 years. There's no incentive for him to stop it. You know, he's supposed to be wearing an ankle monitor. I give it a week. I mean, realistically, he's going to be back here somewhere doing the same things again. It was just three months ago that the snake burglar shimmied into Perone's Delia's Grinders location in Orange Crest and hacked his way into the safe. Pay attention to who you're voting for because the politicians in Sacramento are the ones that are creating these laws that are allowing these people to not be punished. Riverside County District Attorney Mike Hestron sent us a written statement that reads, it is unconscionable that a habitual offender like Christopher Jackson can steal hundreds of thousands of dollars from hardworking people, admit to it, and legally serve less time in jail than the time it will take his hundreds of victims to recoup their losses. Hestron blames Prop 47 and AB 109 for the revolving door of so-called nonviolent offenders. Police say this one admitted to repeatedly stealing to fund a drug addiction. Hopefully he actually spends the six months at a drug rehab facility where he can get the help so where he can become a productive person. If that happens, God bless him. And Jackson was also ordered to finish a six month long residential drug treatment program in addition to paying back restitution of over $158,000 to all of his victims. Reporting in Riverside, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News.